In this video, we provide the solution to question number five for practice exam number four for Math 1220, in which case we have to find the area of the polar, uh, the area enclosed by the polar curve R equals three plus two sine of theta. Um, this is the, this is, this, this function here is a limousine. It's going to be two pi periodic. So the area that we want to compute is going to equal the integral from zero to two pi. All right, one half the radius squared. So we're gonna get three plus two sine theta squared d theta. Um, I do want to square this thing out. Um, you can also use symmetry to help you out here if you wanted to, because after all, with this lemison, it is gonna be, since it's a sine here, it is gonna be symmetric with respect to the y-axis. So if you wanted to, you could change these bounds here You could instead, um, well, you could integrate this thing from negative pi halves to pi halves. That would give you half of it, but that's exactly half of it here. So the twos then can cancel in that situation. Uh, so then as you're integrating from negative pi halves to pi halves, uh, foil this thing out, you're gonna end up with a nine plus a 12 sine theta plus four sine squared theta. Uh, which I should mention that as you're integrating from negative pi halves to pi halves, that's a symmetric interval. So if you integrate at if you integrate at odd function across a symmetric interval, it's just going to cancel out. So this sine is actually going to cancel out as an odd function, and then everything else that didn't cancel out, the nine and the four sine squared, is actually an even function. So this actually doubles up the area again. Um, so I can rewrite this as two times the integral from zero to pi halves. That's kind of nice. I'm going to have to apply the half angle identity on this four sine squared there. So which case we're gonna get a nine plus four times one half, which will give us a two. And then you're gonna get one minus cosine of two theta, d theta. Uh, so then we get the nine plus two is gonna give us 11. 11 minus two times cosine of two theta, d theta. We're now ready to integrate this thing. Uh, so doing this down below, uh, if we take the antiderivative here, 11 becomes 11 theta, and then we're going to get a minus sine of 2 theta as you go from 0 to pi halves. Notice that when you plug in 0, this will disappear, so will sine. Um, when you plug in the pi halves, you're going to get sine of pi, which is also 0, so that disappears entirely. So this thing is going to become 2 times 11 times pi halves. The twos cancel, and we see that the area here is going to be 11 pi, and so the correct choice was option A.